Hey everybody, I'm Ross Burnett. I'm One Tree Planted's monitoring specialist. I'm in Costa Rica right now visiting one of our planting partners and we've just had the most incredible week visiting their planting sites from the mountains down to the coast, doing habitat connectivity, wildlife corridors, and I'm super excited to share some of the technology that we're working with and how it can improve our restoration outcomes. So we've designed this program that goes from that ridge all the way down to the reef, looking at connectivity and how we can transform that landscape that is currently not functional for biodiversity. Hey Ross, how's it going? I'm actually mapping a farm, one of our restoration sites with our partners here in Costa Rica, my home country. We are mapping to have a baseline before reforestation this year so that we can compare and measure the impact in the future. This is the raw data that we normally see straight out of the drone. We actually create a 3D model of the site with full resolution. And this helps us really picture the different impact zones that we want to touch on for the planning process of the reforestation site. It's also the baseline of where we are now and where we want to get to. Trees and flora in general are going to be key. We would at least need somewhere around 3 million trees to establish these corridors so that they are effective for wildlife. We are building up our nurseries and preparing to scale up so that we can do this over six to eight years. We know that that is what we can do to give biodiversity the best opportunity it has to adapt to climate change. This is the first trial experiment of reforestation with drones in Central America. So what's super exciting here is that we're basically trying to figure out how can we do restoration at scale. When we're thinking about restoring you know, hectares and hectares of land, let's say reforesting the Amazon, for example. So the goal of this experiment is to compare the efficacy and cost of restoring with drones versus restoring by hand. We want to think about how we can restore as much as we can as quickly as possible. Presently checking out a two-year-old mangrove restoration site, and we're seeing the remnants of negra flora that takes over. Like we just saw this massive fern that just completely outcompetes all of the mangroves. And so uh, this amazing team here has cleared out the negra flora and replanted by hand about a thousand mangroves per hectare. And by the end of 2021, we'll have restored more than 40 hectares with OSA conservation. Don Raz, what are you about to do? I'm about to climb a tree. They have a camera trap up there, or they're about to put one up there. And this is useful for monitoring what's going on in the forest. There you go. I'm climbing the tree, dude. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> Checking out the camera trap here. We're seeing cats, birds, people. There's one. Oh my wow. God. <laughs> it's been an amazing journey and we really hope to keep pushing the envelope forward with these communities that, again, are fundamental to the work we do. We couldn't do it without the great work of the communities here.